Excellent blue. Like Excellent it? blue. Hey, I love thank it. You, you look great. You. I had a hard time walking in that pencil skirt. Well, I think we were actually sprinting to get here because we, were we sprinting. they said three, two, one, and we were still back there talking about going out for breakfast. I know. We were we were we were complimenting each other and saying we should just go out for breakfast. I said Let Gilman and Art handle the show. You guys would be happy with that, right? Yeah. See? I said on this All right, Tuesday. They're sitting right there, guys. <laughs> I said on this Tuesday, November 28th, uh, I said, this blue is so great on you, we should go be seen. Yeah. And she said, we're going on national television. I said, right. that's a fair point. That's true. <laughs> but um, I, we thought be seen by like a waiter serving um, mimosas. Right. That kind of scene. Uh, I can't, I have to say that I am so obsessed with this royal couple. Oh. Me too. Every, everyone's buzzing about it on the cover of every paper. Mm -hmm. I know that you are, I'm a new obsessor of royalty. Oh. And you have been doing are, this for a long we're time. We're royal watchers here. Right. At live, we watch the royals. And this is, I mean. It's very exciting. This is a, this is a fairy tale. Guys, we got one. <laughs> we got an American in the castle. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting. to Prince Harry, which we can all agree is super chic, right? Well, everyone in my circle, so Megan is from Southern California. Right, I think it's a fairy tale. It's like that's our, uh, that's our neighborhood, basically. Yeah. So everyone of my friends and my colleagues are trying to figure out, we must be connected to the new royal couple in some way. Check this out. Okay. So I'm on the radio yesterday, and Tanya, who does the show with us, yes. Sissy, Tanya, myself, yes. in the morning, she says, you're not going to believe the connection. Now, you want an invitation. This is our way in. I knew we could slither in there somehow. Okay. So it's such a great story how she's grown up in Southern California. Her mother's a social worker. She's got her master's in social work. And Tanya says to me, you won't believe it. My roommate's best friend is currently dating her ex-husband. Is that a way in? That's practically an invitation. There's got to be another way in. No, I find us so close now. I mean, that's, we're not getting in that way, but I'm sure there's got to be a Really? Way I was sure that was our key to the castle. I just, I'm, I'm just so, I'm so excited for them. I watched that interview that they gave to the BBC that went everywhere. They seem so genuinely happy. They, they're, they're giddy with happiness. And I, I feel like sincere but accessible. Yes. I mean, honestly, I know her coat and her dress sold out around the world. I literally got dressed this morning influenced by her dressing. I, I was like, I think I should step it up a little bit. I Look know. at the way she's dressing. I know. This is gonna this is gonna fly off the shelves. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the baby now section. That you've, now that you've connected <laughs> now, that, now that you've work. connected your dots to Listen, the royals. Don't be uh, uh, cynical here. And it, and you know the the ring is, uh, oh, is so special. from diamonds that belong to his mom, um, Princess Diana, who you know, it's still just like such a big part. Like I, re I remember where I was when when she passed away, as we all do, I'm sure. I mean, some of you don't, because some of you weren't born yet. But I remember because I had just had Michael, my son, and 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 my father-in-law uh, came in to tell me because he because he knew how much I I loved Diana, and and so he came in to break the news to me, and he's like, y you should sit down, and and I, and I was like. Crushed. It's really crushed. Um, so, you know, I think the royal family means a lot to, a lot more well, to us than we realize. And you know? also, and so, you look at the news, and this is a great story. It's just a positive, global, yeah. lovely, yeah. wonderful story yeah. that being obsessed with it feels good. Yeah, it feels I agree. really good. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel bad, that's for sure. And once we actually get an invite, it's going to feel amazing. We're getting, listen, we're we're inching our way closer and closer. I know. Did you find do out? Do you think? Do you think that um, Shayna and Mark will be upset when we are each other's plus one? <laughs> <laughs> it's business. We have. Wait, wait, we, we're covering we're, it. Yes, it's a live assignment. <laughs> we must do it for the gig. Um, now I was 
reading or hearing, I can't remember because I woke up at 3.30. So I can't remember where I was. Okay, but um, can I tell you, I did not sleep last night I saw I was going to call you at 3.36. I wish you had because I was, I had drafted a text and I was about to send it to you and then I was afraid that it might go, <laughs> No, because I put on the night time unless I want right, to receive. So you right. can you can send it to me. Okay. Why were you up? I don't know. I think because there's a couple of things at play. Um, number number one, Mark left. So Mark flew home. So um, my what I call my security guard. <laughs> he went back to Vancouver. Um, number two, I took a. Um, a double soul cycle class last night. Of course night. you did. I took it last night. She saved the world, took yes. a double soul cycle, was a mother, right. came to work. Well, I, I, I didn't do any of the other stuff. Oh, okay. I just took a double soul cycle. So you were... You were... Um, yeah. So I think I was like hopped up from, you know, when you Adrenaline. exercise. Yeah, when you exercise later at night, it sort of gives you energy. And number three, I watched um, the last couple of episodes of Stranger Things with the kids. <laughs> Right. So, you know, so nobody's going to sleep after that. So I was up, and, and I was this close to texting you. Please feel free. I think I still have jet lag. So at 3.36, I was out of things to do in the bed. So I got up. <laughs> well, let's, hang on. Let's explore that. What did you try? What, what was the first thing you tried? I, I, I was counting sheep. I was counting llama. I got, went to the bathroom. I brushed my teeth. Anyway, so I decided to uh, work out this morning. And then I woke Shana up, and she decided to bake bread. So we worked out, baked God, I bread. I love Shana so much. She's, bake, she's I, perfect. She's baking bread. She's perfect. 449, and she's baking this healthy bread. So anyway, about health, an hour after health that, bread. health bread, I heard that at some point soon the royals were going to announce wedding details and i'm curious to know are we on royal wedding we're detail watch yes okay so if anything breaks, if anything breaks we will know i don't know i don't know if i trust him i don't know if i trust gelman the man hasn't been home in three days we're, yeah, what no, was, what's going on got are you okay yeah, are you all right okay, I'm okay. <laughs> You look very uh, manly. Thank you. And I know it. How many days of growth is that, Kelman? On your face. On your face. <laughs> on your six weeks. Yeah. Three days. No, come on. That's more than three days. You and I both know that. But thank you for representing some manly. We needed some around here. <laughs> right. Appreciate so that. Funny. Um, anyway, uh, I'm very excited about. Uh, Christmas this year. Christmas is uh, right around the corner. Uh, starting to decorate. Yes, I know. Yes. You're doing interior now. Interior now. Moved on to the interior. I'll show you guys pictures tomorrow. It but will be let finished me just tomorrow? say this. I, well, it'll like, be close. like it'll be uh, it'll be Photogra up Inst Instagram. It'll be Instagramable. Uh, I just want you to know that uh, in the grand tradition of all things important to all of us, you know how uh, they always have a Velveeta cheese shortage right before the Super Bowl? Yes. They always have an avocado shortage right before Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Guess what they're reporting? Oh, What's yes. A Christmas tree shortage. No. Ooh. Scandal. Guess what? I'm calling BS to the S to the S. You know why? I think that this is like the great cabbage patch shortage of the circa uh, early 80s. Ah, uh, of 84. Yes. yes. The big cabbage patch cover-up of 1984. I just remember that my dad had to make a very dubious cabbage patch order out of the back of somebody's car on the middle of Route 73 because my sister wanted a cabbage patch so desperately back in those days that somehow a cabbage patch came from somewhere, you know, and it was like the crazy, I mean, that was crazy. And then, it, you know... As it turns out, everything was fine. It's all. It's it's all. It's all, all built up. up. It's yeah. just, I think, a supply and demand thing. So what I are mean, they saying about the trees? They're saying it's going to be harder to find Christmas trees this year, and it's going to drive the prices up five to ten percent. Oh. 
Anybody who buys a Christmas tree in New York City is going to say that's impossible to believe, but believe it. Um, they're saying Christmas tree sales dropped uh, back when the economy was tanking. So growers didn't grow as many, and now we are suffering. Oh, so it's the that. delay of the it's growth the to the oh, demand and the mm -hmm. supply. Although, if, I don't know if the camera's out there, but just across the street, there's 100 trees leaning against yeah. <laughs> I, 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 if you want our address, where, I, what is our address? Yes, yeah, 67 Columbus. Get there, white van, knock on the door. They're going to help you out. But and they have reeds, and they have and they have tabletop trees, and they have little tiny trees. Like they have trees that big there. I mean, if you look, if you really look, if you walk by. That's the kind of tree I could actually reach the top to put the star on. I know. <laughs> how many times have you? How many times have you like almost? There have been so many times I've almost bit it. Um, getting up there? Getting up there. Yeah. Getting up there. Do you know, my stress comes from the lights more than the ornaments. Well, I untangling really, the lights from the it, it, I, I physically get ill from untangling the lights and then trying to put them around in the circle. Well, because you know, you know you put those lights in in a nice orderly fashion. And right. somehow... They mated themselves. Like they, they, got, they got bored and they were like, hey, <laughs> I like a multicolored light. Shine it right on me. Hey, what is, <laughs> you want to get together with the uh, star? It is, I don't know how that happens. And same with my headphones. Something happens. It, oh, the headphones, the. Oh, forget it. Right. I, I walk around with them just with the knot here. <laughs> To li trying to listen to music while it really to is run. nuts. Like there are certain things that just get really tangled, and all cords get tangled, all holiday lights get tangled, and all headphones. Well, get someone tangled. lives with us who steals my wallet, my keys, everything, my phone. There's a there's an invisible thief that just moves things, and then I have to blame someone. So we blame the thief, and then I, they show up in my pocket. But the thief put it there. <laughs> Do you think it's because all of your accessories are dark in color and you put them inside your dark man purse? My man purse is pink. <laughs> even the interior? Took, even <laughs> velvet. velvet. Uh, well, I do think that having the white phone actually helps, but I also can't remember. I can't remember what day it is. Is it Tuesday? Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. So I can't remember where I put things. Right. I put them down and I, I tell you, I, I, I didn't leave, I left the phone in the bathroom. I've done this and anybody with glasses has done this where you are searching for your glasses and they're on your face. So you, where, who has my, ah. Right? Yeah. You've done that. Yeah. And nobody tells you. And they, like, they actively help you search for your glasses. <laughs> they're on look. your face. <laughs> and then you just happen to walk by a reflective surface and you're like, here they are. Oh, that's me in the mirror. It could be that you have On a backup pair than people are thinking. I about. know, but isn't that weird? Well, it's like the phone in your back pocket. You think it's your wallet, and then you reach back and you realize, ah, that's my phone that I've been looking for for 32 minutes. Do you ever pocket dial people? So, I haven't, but my late Nana Ginny got a boyfriend in her late 80s. Well, good and for her. They took a road trip, and they were on their way out to the Best Western Sunset Boulevard to see me. And she loves to have a martini at 5 o'clock. And on the way out, he accidentally butt-dialed me, and I heard the martini talk. <laughs> and Lay it on us, lay it well, on no, us. Well, no, it's not. Us. I mean, she's no longer with us. So. No, but she doesn't mind. <laughs> She was, she was from above wishing that this story would make it on national television someday. <laughs> but I have, I've, I've listened. I can't put it down. I mean, when you are butt dialed by your Nana's boyfriend, and, you are in for the full feature. And were they, and so what just, you... Just, were, just chat. Just chat. Just chat. She was a real character. I didn't realize. Yeah. Well, martinis bring the character out in people. Oh, my gosh, yes. You know, if you want to see somebody's real personality, give them a martini. And that should be the guide of everything. Right, Art? Absolutely. He said three already today. <laughs> It's true. Oh. It's true. Um, okay, we got a big show today from the new film Star Wars The Last Jedi, Daisy Ridley. Very exciting.
our connection. She could be on. Our... You should ask her. You should, should ask, ask her. her yeah, ask her to, to ask her to be your date to the royal wedding, and you can go. As but her. I need plus three. Uh, listen, I will sacrifice myself if you get in there with Daisy. That's it. that's our in, and you could just butt dial me from the event. <laughs> FaceTime me. FaceTime me. <laughs> okay. FaceTime me. We have a plan. Uh, also here from the series Shut Eye, Jeffrey Donovan is with us. I like it. Yep, here go. It's time for morning wake up travel trivia. Here we go. Look at that. Look at I like the accessory. That's Is it Ty? Yes, it's Ty. Ty. Ty, Ty Habersham. Yeah. yeah. What part of Atlanta are you from? I'm from Gwinnett, Georgia. I know Gwinnett yeah. County. How Gwinnett nice. County. Gwinnett County. Gwinnett County. Gwinnett County. Gwinnett County. Gwinnett County. Gwinnett County. Well, great to see you, man. Happy early birthday to you. So we're going to attempt to make a live phone call now. Calling Kelly from Lemming, Texas, to see if Kelly is paying close attention to us, watching the show as we speak, ready to answer and win a prize. Right, Kelly? I don't think she's going to answer. Okay. Oh. Hello. Please. Please. Hi, is this Kelly? Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Kelly? Yes. Hi, Kelly. This is Ryan and Kelly. You're on the air live in New York. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I just tried to I'd be you. I just realized, like, I was like, hi, this is Ryan Seacrest. And and you're on the air with us live. Uh, Kelly, uh, good morning. Are we waking you? No, 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 no. You are not waking me. <laughs> well, what are you up to? What are you up to? Well, We've already baked yeah. bread and worked out. Well, yeah, you're waking me up. I was in my, um, just got home from dropping three kids off at school, stupor, but yes, I'm awake. <laughs> I see. How many kids do you have? I have three. Oh, that's okay. it. That's I, have, I have a senior in high school, a freshman in high school, and a fifth grader. Two oh, boys well, and a girl. You have you met your sister? In it. You are in it, Kelly. <laughs> yes. All right, did you do the college thing, all of that? Um, we are working on that. My oldest is a senior, and he's working on wanting to be a chef. He wants to go to culinary school. Oh, that was God. my dream. That's like a dream. That's what we want to do. That's amazing. Oh, he, congratulations. He cooks, he cooks for us all the time. It is fabulous. Oh, dude, what did he make for Thanksgiving? What did he make for Thanksgiving? Actually, he cooked for us the night before because I didn't want to cook because I was like, you know, we want to have empty bellies so that we could eat a lot the night before. That's very important. So, um, but he couldn't do that because he's a growing boy. But he made us um, beef stir fry. Mm. Well, oh Kelly, how, we like you so much. How'd you like to be our first guest today on this show? <laughs> you're, you're fun. Love to. I'm trying to get my husband to get me back to New York. We were just there a few months back, and I loved it. Oh, so, good. Well, come come on back. We're gonna spin we'll, the wheel and see what we'll you see what you got. Here's a great prize, the Galley Bay Resort and Spa in Antigua. Seven days, six nights in a deluxe beachfront room. It's all inclusive. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $9,300. You have 20 seconds and only one guest, Kelly. Good luck. Woohoo! Okay. okay. That's the spirit. Okay, okay. On yesterday's show, we talked with Carol Burnett. What storm did Carol say was about to hit New York City when she first arrived in 1954. What storm? What storm? I have to be honest, I did not watch yesterday. Well. Oh, my goodness. Well, take it. What storm? You weren't that good yesterday year? anyway. <laughs> what was the year again? 1954. 1954. Five seconds. You want to take a guess? Carol Burnett. Um. 
No guess. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Anything? It was Hurricane Carol. <laughs> Hurricane Carol, wow. The big storm of 54. Yeah. <laughs> remember the hurricane of 54? <laughs> I remember Hurricane Everybody? Harvey. Don't I worry. Actually, we... I remember Hurricane Harvey, so we're good. Yes. Right, right. Well, yes, don't worry. Right. Not a total loss. Well, listen, you're still going to get a, a great prize. You and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive a $500 appliance package from Cuisinart. So please pick a number between 1 and 212. Number one. One? Pick number one. You are the first, Kelly, to pick number one. I, I, I do watch out quite regularly, and I have noticed that. Nobody ever picks number one. Okay. Kelly, you're the best. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much for listening and watching, okay? Jeffrey Donovan. We love it up Kelly and Ryan's inbox to hear your comments and questions. And coming up next, Daisy Ridley. our favorite celebrity walkouts throughout today's show and we need your help to pick the best one so go to our website or our Facebook page and cast your vote today. We're going to air the results of this vote and show you many more memorable moments on our end of the year viewers choice show which is December 27th That's right after right. Christmas. That's right so don't forget to vote don't forget to vote it's the most important election of this of year. All the year. <laughs> Tomorrow's show from the new Star Wars The Last Jedi. John Boyega is here. And from the series Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Rachel Bloom will be on the show. And from Miss Universe, Miss South Thanks, Africa honey. herself, Demi Lino Peters is here. She blasted from superstardom as Rey in Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now she's back Ooh. in Star Wars The Last Jedi. Please welcome back Daisy Ridley. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we can't get enough about it here, uh, the royal wedding. We can't get enough. Yeah. Are you as invited? Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you invited? Yes. You are. You are. No. Oh. You probably. You probably you can't could tease be, right? You might. Be. I mean, I met him once. Would it be a stretch to say we're best friends? <laughs> no. Maybe. Not in our country. It's not a stretch at all That's to say things like that. A stretch at all. So you met him how? Um, him and Prince William, him. Prince Harry and Prince William came around their Star Wars set, and I took them around. But did oh, they... You were their tour guide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just came to watch? They, uh, they came to, to see what was going on. Did they cameo? Um, who can say? No one. Who, who can, can say? No one can say. So Not you yet. have to go see the movie to find out. Yes, you do, <laughs> everyone. That's, that's exciting. That's... I feel like I'm getting news. Yeah. Now, okay, when you do... Uh, get invited because I'm I'm a big believer and you put it out there and it happens I I heard something just previous to coming up that maybe you wanted yeah well he's oh. looking for Whoa. someone to go with and wouldn't that be fun for you too yes we, we, wouldn't it be correct I'm Ryan hey <laughs> nice to meet you you guys are like best friends right now. so exactly. that's I would consider us that so <laughs> That's we, happening. We, we just, we're looking for any sort of connection. But in, is it as obsessive there in the UK as it is here in the US? I honestly think it's more obsessive here. You do? Yeah. Um, because the day they came around, I was like, oh, the 
princes are here. Obviously, like, it's not so casual, but I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty chill meeting people anyway. And Mark Hamill was like, oh, my God, <laughs> the princes. Um, so I think, it's, I think it's slightly more here. Well, because we don't know what to do. Around here, we um, conjure up lots of... Uh, Visuals. When you say the princess, like yeah. I picture you. Did you curtsy? Did you have to genuflect? No, I actually did have to curtsy. I think you we all we did all have to stand in a row when they came out. Yeah, You're yeah, kidding. yeah. But they were super chill. Like they really were. Right. And like very normal. Do they say things like this? Okay, you don't have to. Or? Yeah. Yeah. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. They were really nice. Yeah. They really walk out. Cool. They say, "Sup." Sup. Like oh. sup, girl. Yeah. Sup, girl. Yeah. So let's talk about you. Um, we heard that you had a chance to sing with the legendary, iconic, amazing Barbra Streisand. Yes, I did. Yeah. How Speaking of royalty. Yes. I mean, she's royalty. Yes. It was really crazy because she's good friends with JJ. And after the first one came out, he emailed me and was like, oh, Barbara wants to meet you. It's like, sorry, what? Um, so I went to just have tea with her at her house. Which was insane enough. And when I, no, Tell when us I, everything. Did you go down to the wrapping paper room? So, no, she told me about that, but we didn't have time because I had a flight to catch. What? I know. I Can mean... you imagine? Uh, okay. She showed me, she showed me uh, some other stuff. She showed me her art studio and stuff and told me about the So there's the a mall place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. under her home? Yeah, yeah. With a food court and everything? I think it's like, it's Victorian-y, I think. It's like a... Do you know about this? Yes. There are pictures on the internet. Uh, uh, well, let's take a break so we can look them up. We'll come right back right after this. Still ahead on live, Jeffrey Donovan. Okay, Daisy Ridley, tell us about The Last Jedi. What can you tell us? Tell us everything you know. Tell us right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I actually watched it a oh, couple of weeks ago. Okay, yeah. Great. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm still sort of processing that. It's um, it's different. It's di it's it's different. It's a new. It's its own thing. Ryan has definitely made his very like his own. He put his stamp on it. Um, from my point of view, Ray is uh, on a more of an emotional journey this time than a, uh, a physical one. Mm. There is obviously some physical stuff in there, but it's um, it's emotional on the island. She has, gets to ask some questions about herself and about the world around her, and try and figure the things out. And what is she? trying to figure out who her father is <laughs> I mean the rest of the world is so keen on that I think that's that's not no it is this Ray. is, important to this is a film franchise yes. that has daddy issues all yes. over from the get go I am your father we're yeah. waiting for that yeah. line yeah she's trying to figure out where it is she came from in terms of parentage heritage whatever that may be but also just questions about the wide world she's been alone for so long you know mm. she has a lot of questions about the whole thing so how long is it? You shoot the first one, and then how much time passes between then and when you shoot the second one? We shot the first one, and then a year later it came out, and then literally three weeks after the first one came out, we started the second one. So it was a whole bag of emotions. Was there anything different that happened, like between shooting the first one and shooting the second one? Like, was your trailer bigger? Did you, get did a you gym? have my like... trailer was bigger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got that one, I see the two stories. Yeah, but, but the last terrace. film I did, I had the most ridiculous trailer. I walked and I was like, this is literally bigger than my flat. Was there a pizza oven? Uh, they <laughs> may well have been. I just didn't find it. It was so big. No kidding. Yeah, no, the That's trailer cool. was great. But the thing about the first one, John and I shared, so I could always hear him. I was like, oh, there he is. Uh, <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, no, I did, yeah. Well, congratulations. Lovely Thank to you. see you. Star Wars Last Friday, December 15th. Hotels.com with the rewards program you unlock instant saving now and after staying 10 nights earn a free one to use later. Hotels.com instant savings now free nights later. Tomorrow on live also from Star Wars The Last Jedi John Boyega. Weeknights on MeTV watch MASH at 7 Andy at 8 and Mama... is hard to find. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Well, he's played an ex-spy, a U.S. president, and now a psychic con artist on the Hulu series Shut Eye. Please welcome Jeffrey Donovan.
How you doing, man? That was very cool. Good. I liked it. Huh? I liked it. I, you, I you saw the split. There was no way I was competing <laughs> with that. How that even works? I'm too Listen. old. No, you could do it. You just got to warm up. Then I would up. never get up. You just got to warm up <laughs> back there. I think nobody was uh, more surprised than uh, Matt Eisman when he went down in the split. He and got up. He seemed the most surprised out of all of us. He was like, well, that just happened. <laughs> I was thinking, it's, it's adrenaline. It's a just yeah, makes it you is. do that. Uh, Thanksgiving was what great. Uh, I took my family down to uh, Mexico. And we had just a random, just let's go down to Punta Mita, which is just north of uh, oh. uh, uh, Puerto Vallarta. And, and we had a great Thanksgiving. Puerto of art is represented yeah. here. Uh, and it was great because they, they did a, kind of a, a Mexican-American traditional hybrid. So you got the turkey, yeah. but then you had the mashed potatoes with Oaxaca cheese. Oh, my oh, gosh, yeah. that when you When you took it out, this string of cheese just yeah. came out. And when you put it on the... It was awesome. Yeah. 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 And like then I fell asleep for four hours. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Of course. And it, was that the margaritas, maybe? Oh, or? yeah. Yes, right. there was three. <laughs> so they were saying since you were here last, there's been a lovely addition to yeah family. my my third child is a daughter and uh, oh. yeah so yeah she's there. She's there watching um, so it's girl boy girl now oh girl boy girl it's yeah. the opposite of us so you go from you know when you travel with three kids uh, Mark always used to say that you go from uh, man man to man defense to, to zone, zone. zone. Yes. <laughs> right. yeah yeah so we, we, we do kind of a, a man to man and a zone but my wife is a genius she what she does is she goes into the closet and finds old toys, uh -huh. and then she goes down to the Christmas basket and takes out new wrapping paper, wraps them, and puts them in no. backpacks, and then when she gets on the plane, when the kids start acting up, she goes, look what mommy and daddy bought you, <gasps> and they unwrap, and it's like Christmas for at least an hour. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then when they get a little anxious again, she's like, oh, another present. The only problem is, is once in a while, they go, wait a second. Isn't that gift yeah. fraud? How, how old are they? How old are they? A five and three. Okay, you, you don't have too much longer with that. You don't have much longer. I'm, not, because, because I'm milking that forever. The, the, the older one is going to figure it out, and she'll tell the other two. <laughs> the secret will be ruined. <laughs> yes. Trust me. Coming up, we'll find out what tricks Jeffrey has up his sleeve in the new season of Shut Eye. Right after this. Now, sure. that's fake news right <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't go, it doesn't bode well, that sentence. What can you tell us about season two? So, uh, we kind of uh, did a bit of a shuffle on the, the creative uh, uh, f voice behind the show. So, uh, it's the, the second season is amazing. I, I love it. The cast, it, we're so thrilled with the scripts, uh, the direction it's gone. And what's uh, what I've called it is divide and conquer. Every faction within the show, if you've seen it, uh, is now going to be pulled apart. Mm -hmm. And what's so great is that it's going to make all the people who love their family fight that much mm -hmm. harder to keep them. So they're going to pull them apart so they can fight more viciously against each other. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> the drama. Which is yeah. what we need for yeah. season two. Yes, yes. And your characters had a career in magic have you because I'm terrible at it I can't magic? ever figure it out have you learned any great magic yourself uh, you know uh, the first season I didn't but the second season we've kind of worked on this sleight of hand I've worked with a consultant so I have been trying to do more and more magic in fact I came up with kind of a my own version of a magic trick well, can you add uh, we, three? Have we have cards here oh. we have cards because because I heard your <laughs> card trick wait I was first, gonna first ask all, for adding I'm, three inches first of height. All, no. I'm an amateur okay, okay. so it, I might not do it well okay? okay so so but I'll give it a try but I need both of you to help. Yes. Right. so you, you have to stand up yes Stand up. Okay. So, so. This, this is this, exciting. This is going to go. Ryan, I, I need you to come over here, though. Okay. okay so, this is because you're going to help me, and yes, then I you're am. also going to participate as well. Okay, go ahead. Right, so, anybody. obviously, pick any card, as you've seen before. Right? Pick a card. Any, any card. card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then just look at it, and I want you to do me a favor, Brian. Okay. 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 Now, this is going to, no, you're going to hold this, and I want you to come here so you can see what I see. Okay. Okay. So, Hold the card out. Like that? Yeah, and now look at it. Now look in her eyes, okay? Oh, my God. Okay, now wait. Now look in her eyes. Okay. You don't see the card, do you? I don't, but okay. I see Okay, okay, good. So I just want to make sure, okay? So here you go. I now stand right here. Now you can stand here. Now both of you look at the card. Okay. Now here's the trick. Okay. I'm going to ask you three questions. Okay. It's a yes or no, okay? Now, when I ask it, you either tell the truth or you lie. Okay? All right. You're going to tell the truth. But you have to say the truth the whole time or yeah. lie the whole time. Okay. You're going to do the opposite, whatever he decides, whatever she decides, okay? So okay. if I say, is it a red card, tell the truth or a lie, but should I say yes or no? Yes. 
Okay, now you'd say... Absolutely not. Right. Okay, now I'm going to read both of your lying and truth-telling abilities. Okay. 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 Is it a number card? Yes. No. <laughs> Why are you shaking? <laughs> I'm just laughing. Is it a number between two and eight? Yes. You wish? <laughs> Is it the five of hearts? Yes! Yes, it is. is, it, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> we, have we need to learn that for the holidays. That's very good. I just don't even understand what just happened. Is it because he's such a bad liar? Yes. <laughs> no, it's so actually good. how way, well you tell the truth. But, oh, really? I, I, I actually thought I was going to be able to see it in your eyes. I thought this is <laughs> well, that, cool. Well, that's why you can't, I do I that. I can you really go to see. Vegas now and play cards. <laughs> uh, Shut Eye Season 2 starts streaming on Hulu December 6th. That was great. One, right? yeah, we, we have do. a really quick one, a really quick celebrity walkout to show you as well. Please welcome Jeff Garland. Hi, that was the best. Hey, Good to see you. Are you being chased by somebody? <laughs> no, I don't want to waste time. I could be talking. But <laughs> He's funny. That's all right, so both of your favorite walk-ons. What do you have? It's so funny. As I'm watching those, it's like the first time. I'm like, oh, they were here? That's, right. That's because you've never watched the show. I know. I don't Kelly watch the show. Kelly told me day. She goes, you know, I was off on Thanksgiving. I saw the show. And you made me laugh so much. I, I, I texted him in Italy because he made me laugh so much because I don't watch the show. And I watched the show. And I was like, Ryan, you're really funny. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's a good show. I was like, this is a good show. I should watch this show. <laughs> I thought she's drunk. Uh, no, I wasn't. I, I wasn't drunk at all. Okay. I mean, I know it's unlike me, but uh, Sandra Manning from Ocala, Florida said, uh, put lights on a tree from top to bottom. Uh, laterally, rather than horizontally, they will be perfectly even. Yeah, no, that's how I do it. That is how I do it. Well, speaking of the lights, so here is, uh, this is from Nancy. She says, this is how you store Christmas lights to keep them from getting tangled. That's a great trick. No, they, then they mate with the hanger. I'm telling you, <laughs> they just, they do something to themselves in there. Uh, Cheryl Corbett from Tewksbury, Massachusetts says, Ryan, they have trees that already have lights on them. Ah. Best thing we ever did, stress-free, <laughs> exclamation point. <laughs> I haven't seen those, have you? No. Yeah. Oh, they're the fake trees. Yeah, they're fake. You don't buy real trees we, with lights on we them. Prefer the term, we prefer the term artificial. Oh, artificial, all right. Artificial. We will artificially be right back. <laughs> Enter lives home for the holiday. Seven, right? So we've received some great entries so far in Live's Home for the Holidays photo contest. That's right. We've partnered with Total, Total Wireless, and the winner will receive a trip to New York City during the holidays. So let's take a look at some of these entries. Now, remember, these are three incredible. entries and not necessarily winners. So pipe ha. down. Ha. Uh, here's Debbie down? Wolf from Charlotte, North Carolina. They have over 65,000 oh, lights and have been doing it for 26 years. You know where the cars slow down to right. take a good. Oh, day. I love those yeah. streets where yeah, you go drive too, and too. the bags and the candles yeah. on the street. Yep. All right, this is Lisa Kala from Pioneer, California. Take a look at that. Wow. I mean, that's a Very real exciting. project to put up. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Deborah Trainer from Winthrop, Mass. This village is a tradition started by her husband and carried on by her daughter. Beautiful. How about that? So send us your great stuff. We'll be back in less than 60 seconds. All right, right after this. Closed captioning sponsored in part by
Treats will do anything for the irresistible taste of Temptations Treats. What are you doing? Oh, here, check this out. Temptations. Cats can't resist. Here's what I want for Cassie's food. Wholesome ingredients, real meat first, no corn, wheat, or soy. Add it all up, and there's only one choice for me. Blue buffalo. Breaking free from dandruff feels great. Max Strength Sell Some Blue targets the source, wiping out lakes and itch. Sell Some Blue, freedom from dandruff. It's the Property Brothers there, Drew and uh, Jonathan, right? Yeah, Drew and Jonathan Scott. So uh, vote for your favorite. Don't forget to uh, visit our Facebook page to vote. Vote, vote. And look at this. I just want to show you something. Oh. Hey, Becky Butler made your mom's fudge bottom yes. dessert for Thanksgiving. It, was it says it was good. Yep. Tomorrow, John Boyega's here. And Rachel Blue. And the newly crowned Miss Universe. Have a great day.